best buds it's kathy with kathy's garden i love making everything that has to do with junk journals and if this is something you enjoy too please subscribe speaking of subscribers i have a 500 subscriber giveaway and a shout out to joyce maybelline karen robin lynn michelle vicky denise christine nancy Lori, and ricky i appreciate each and every one of you all right guys we are going to work with some pressed flowers and I worked on it yesterday um, and I think I've perfected it enough to be able to share it with you so you're going to need some type of botanicals for this project these are some botanicals that I have um, these very very flat pansies I dried using the microwave uh, flower dryer the, and it looks like this I will link it in the description down below so you can see exactly what this is it works beautifully I highly recommend it so you can go out in your garden you can pick some flowers you can come straight in you can put them in the microwave using that you'll be ready to craft in moments it's that wonderful I did the little fern leaf that way and I did the pansy leaves that way. These pansies I dried using the book method where you just take the fresh flower and you put it between pages of a book and then put some books on top. So the weight. So these are not completely flat, flat, flat. They're a little bumpier. These, however, that I used um, in the machine with the microwave it is completely flat you will need to choose flowers that are completely flat it's not going to work if you try a daisy unfortunately because daisies are not um, they're not flat they're just not the petals are flat but not the center all right I hope I don't spill that the second time I've had to do this video I've had some spillage and uh, spilt my flowers everywhere and anyway so what you want to do is get some type of hard cardstock. I chose to get um, or to use a manila folder that I coffee dyed. And then you'll want to cut out or punch out some shapes. So this is a very small flower shape. It's a Fisker's punch. Uh, it looks like that. There's for those little tiny ones. That's where these came from. The, the larger flower. Um, it's not even doesn't have one single word on it have no idea I know I got it at Hobby Lobby and then here's a tag punch that punched out these tags right here oh I am so sorry about the lighting guys the Sun is going in and out of clouds I have my blinds closed I have all my lights on even the the light on the top ceiling because I had to cover it up so it wouldn't bother us so I apologize. The, the sun goes in and out and in and out, and that's why it gets dark and light. I can't do a thing about it. Okay, so this is the, the tag stamp, and it is a re recollections stamp. Punch. I keep calling them stamps. They're not stamps. It's punch. All right, so the next thing um, that I did, oh, I just cut these out. Pers just cut them out myself with my scissors, these shapes here. So you don't have to have a, a punch. You can just cut out the shape you want. You can even cut circles out if you want, or flowers, but whatever you choose. So I am looking for the stamp here. This is a stamp. I use this stamp here. It's words in cursive. I can't read what they say. They're, I don't know if it's, a, if it's English or if it's just made up. I have no idea what it says. But... We're going to put a little bit of black ink it is black and we're going to stamp the cutouts and ju I'll just stamp a couple more here because I have some already done because like I said I've done this video a couple times now there we go that one didn't get very well there that's much better Alrighty, let me just put this over to the side just like that let me wipe this up real quick with a wet wipe I finally bought some wet wipes I hadn't bought them I see everyone uses them so I thought okay I'm gonna give it a try well I see why everyone likes them <laughs> yeah 
I see why everyone likes them. Okay, so now we have our, our shapes and we have a little bit of words on them. Just a little bit, very faint. Here's some that I did earlier. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to get, uh, okay, I tried a different things. I tried using foil with some um, hard uh, cardstock underneath. That didn't work. What I found that worked was a little square of paper towel. And let's just pick this little fella. And we're going to take our wax. Now this wax I bought at Hobby Lobby. I did not want the yellow wax. I wanted more refined wax that was white. It came in a bag that was this size so the price was not outlandish because I didn't even know if I could make it work because I had this idea and I didn't know and I didn't want to spend a lot of money to figure out if my idea would work. So this was on the aisle in Hobby Lobby where you get the rosin and the rosin molds and the um, the, the clay, um, not the clay that you sculpt with, but um, what you call that clay. But anyway, it's in the, in my Hobby Lobby, it's at the very last aisle. It's called Crafty Candles Wax Polymer. Okay, that's what kind of wax beads these are. And I just put a couple of wax beads on this paper. Now, I was using my old iron. Well, my old iron, this is not my old iron, this is my new iron that I've got. My old iron had a whole bunch of big holes where the steam came out, but they were all the way around. Well, what was happening was the wax was melting, it was getting inside, and I'd have to use an ear cleaner and try to clean this out every time. But that was like getting to be ridiculous. So when I was out running errands like crazy yesterday and d doing all kinds of things, um, I went I had to go to Walmart, and so I went to see if they had a travel iron. They did. You don't have to pay thirty dollars. You don't even have to pay twenty dollars. This was twelve dollars and some change. Yeah, that's how much this iron was. Now it is for steam. You don't have to put steam in it. <clears throat> you don't have to put steam in it at all. I'm not going. I don't plan on putting water in it at all. All right. <clears throat> so that that was a good find. So. You've got your two beads on here. We're going to use this part of the iron. We're not going to use this part. We're not going to have anything get stuck in there. And I'm sorry about this light coming through that window shade. I've closed them as much as I can. And we're going to let it melt. You're going to feel when it melts. And then we're just going to go in circular motions off the cardstock onto the paper towel. So what we're doing is we're we're just removing some of the wax so it's not a thick thick buildup because you can get a super thick buildup on there and it just doesn't look very pretty so it softens the words the words are not as crisp it changes the color it makes it a little darker and it feels it feels nice you don't feel you don't really feel the wax it it feels different. I don't know how to explain to you what it feels like, but you don't feel it's, it doesn't feel waxy is what I'm trying to say. Um, so there you go. There's that step. Now you're going to have to pick your flower. So let us pick, um, let me get my flowers over here. Let's see if we can work. Oh, let's see if we can work with this pretty guy. This guy was dried between book pages. Okay, so he is a little bumpier than the other ones. Let's put him on there. Move this side. There are so many things you can do with this, guys. I will show you at the end. I'll show you what I did with them, but there's just, the sky's the limit on what you can end up doing with this. You're going to take your iron again. I just have this set on medium. It's just on medium heat. I haven't tried it any, um, any, I will say less hot. That's not the right way to say that. I haven't tried it hotter because I don't need it any hotter. Oh, 
my flower stuck on there. There. There she is. She was stuck on my iron for a minute. Let's see here. She's a little crooked. We're going to put another one down and see if I can get her to... If I can get the flower to move just a little bit. I might not be able to. She might be stuck. I'm going to get the extra wax off. Yeah, she moved. There she is. There. Now she's straighter. I'm going to get the extra wax off. I'll hold on to her just a little bit as I wipe the extra wax off. The wax hasn't completely dried yet, but look at there. And she's on there. And she's covered in a fine layer of wax. Isn't that adorable? I made a couple of other ones. I made this one earlier. This one hung over just a little bit. I just took my scissors after she draw after the wax dried and I just trimmed it. And I put a little fern on this one. Isn't that sweet? So you can do all kinds of things. Let's um let's do one of these and let's do another one. So I'm gonna get my words right. I have this issue with making sure my words are straight. Okay. Let's try a little leaf on that one, a little fern leaf. So first we're going to cover, I'm going to ink up the edges just a little bit on this one. Let's, which way am I here? I'm right here. Put a one little wax bead, <coughs> excuse me, on here. That's all that one's going to need is one. Just you're taking it on and off of the paper onto the paper towel. This will help the wax not accumulate too much on your cardstock. Okay, now let's put our fern on here. I am going to hold it just a little bit, otherwise it's going to, because it is so delicate, it's going to move. I have to wait till it melts. It has melted. Now I'm just wiping the extra off. That's what I'm doing. Moving it off this way in this direction. You can see that the um, it's getting. You can see the wax on the paper towels. What I'm trying to say, and there you are. Isn't that sweet? Absolutely adorable. So this is what I chose to do with this creation yesterday. Um, I took. A tag and I inked up around the edge and I put a little hole using my little tiny hole punch the little tiny one and I put a hole in my tag like that then I took some of my lace pieces and this was on a um, they had a sale at Hobby Lobby, and this is like one after the other after the other, like this. And I just cut them apart. So I'm going to take one of these. And then this was on a spool that, I'm not sure where I bought this. Could have even been Walmart. It was on a spool. I cut that heart out like this. Then, let's get our, this one already has a hole in it. this here like that get one of your bulb pins and thread all of this on like this I'm 
and you have an adorable charm adorable charm now you could even take your glue and put just a little a tiny little piece of glue right there and you could get your pearls or your jewels whatever your choice is and you could put that right on there just like that and there you are now you guys if you live in a cold area and you don't have access to anything green outside you could go to the um, grocery store and you could purchase like some sometimes in our grocery store like Kroger they have a section where they mark down the flowers you could do single petals like single petals of daisies single petal of a rose you could pick um, they have that leather leaf that greenery you could get some of that you could it it is like this let me see if I can pick this up real quick it's it's like this but see we just took one little of the one of the arms of the fern and used it um, so you could go and find um, some things that you can use I know that um, I used to live in Kansas right now there's nothing green outside <laughs> except for evergreen um, evergreen trees and bushes so um, I just really loved this. I made a few here. I made this one, and I've made this one, and we made this one together. And I really hope you enjoyed it, because I enjoyed being with you today. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.